Hey guys, what's going on? My pals, it's MMI. Today we got a Harry Potter telling his life in Hogwarts. You know, he has none of the shorts. Yes, I know, you enjoy yourself. Sorry, I got this activated because it's going to be part of it. We have the Gryffindor's little. Uh, the, we have the short, and which was. If I remember correctly, was. Let's pause you for a sec. When you have need a Gryffindor friend, so we are going to do part one of this. Not a short of this. Let's go. To a side, look at Hufflepuff doing something seriously wrong. Hufflepuff! So I said, look at him. Yeah? Where's your Slytherin friend? Slytherin Slytherin. I'm out. Hufflepuff said, look at suspiciously. What are you planning? Nothing. Rare Claw knew something was wrong. His instincts of Rare Claw knew something was wrong. Hufflepuff, come with me. Where are we going? To the Gryffindor compound. Why? Because you need some babysitter. I don't need a babysitter. Hufflepuff smiles sarcastically. How about you be my babysitter? I have to go somewhere. Hufflepuff knew something was up with Ravenclaw. Tony, aka Tony. Come on, please be my babysitter. No. So I said, watching as Tony walked into the room. After me, the kid looked at the woman. Please open up. I have a Hufflepuff that needs a Gryffindor babysitter. The woman knew it and only Tony for a long time. Open up for him. Dragging the Hufflepuff along. Where are we doing this? The Hufflepuff asked suspiciously. Because I don't trust you. But you know I'm your friend and I know what it's like. If you're going to go right and die by yourself, I'm not letting you allow you to do that. Fine. The Hufflepuff now knew why Tilly was acting like this. I understood why. Tilly smiled. I knew I could trust you. Tilly smiled, dragged him to the Gryffindor compound, walked in, and all the Gryffindors looked at him. Where's the one Gryffindor friend? All the Gryffindors pointed at the guy playing the capable video game. Uh -huh. The Gryffindor looked at him. Why you come here? The Gryffindor friend smiled. I need a baby to half him off. Why? I have a date and I don't want to drag him along. Okay, fine. Hufflepuff looked at Gryffindor. Why him? Because Slytherin's gone somewhere? And you need a babysitter? Fine. Hufflepuff stomped his foot a little bit. Why can't you babysit me? Because I'm off with Draco. I don't want him to have a third wheel on our date. Fine, I'll be alright. Gryffindor looked at him. Why me? Because you're the only one left in our friend group? Fine, here, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff looks at the toy and plays with it. Yay, a baby got the toy, even though Disney wasn't a part of it. Hufflepuff seems to like the animatronic toy. Thank you, Hufflepuff started playing with the toy. Okay, now that's still for Hufflepuff. Gryffindor, take care of each other. Will do, Hufflepuff said, smiling. I mean, Gryffindor and more, and then you, Hufflepuff. Aw, oh, come on, that's not fair, Hufflepuff said. So, anyways, look at him. Just enjoy your toy and don't do anything I don't want to hear about from the teachers at Hogwarts. Fine, I promise you I won't do it. They're odd. Hubbub said, giving him the look. Toy so adding the look to his look. Fine, I promise. Going back to play with his toy. Gryffindor? Yeah? If anything happens to Hubbub, it's on you. Sure thing, and if Slytherin finds out what Hubbub did, you better run. Yeah, I kind of guess that. So? So what? What are your dates going to do? I don't know. I played it last time, so it's his turn. Alright, see you later, though. No, I'm just waiting until Hufflepuff just sneaks away and you go after him. Wait a minute, you sneak away now. Oh, man, not now. Hufflepuff. 
How about I get back here? To his smile, while she has a Gryffindor, tries to run up for her half and puff. Told you so. Rivercloth, aka Hufflepuff, watches Hufflepuff runs away. And she goes after him, one of the Gryffindors asked. No, he has a brother, by the way. Dory smiled, walking into the slimmer cop out. Hope you guys have a good time with your Hufflepuff trainee. Dory said, close it, watching as the door closes, and all the Gryffindors yell out, No! Dory smiled and watches as the lady decides, You're putting us in trouble. Don't worry, it's fine, Toy said to the woman, walking away from the portrait into the slippery compound. Walking into the slippery compound and knocking on the door, the slippery ends open up and see him. Looking for Draco? Uh huh. Draco merely runs and then washes him out. Don't worry, he's with me, Draco says to the slippery boys and girls. So I smiled and watches the Draco and him walk away. So what happened today? How about they have this slipper because of something else? Oh yeah, Slither had a date. Draco said, oh that's why. Yeah, sorry about that. It's why I have Bob had Gryffindor to take care of him. I wonder what Hufflepuff Gry- is going to do for against Gryffindor, kid. Regular size. I don't know, but I hope it doesn't even end up with the teachers yelling at me. Don't worry, they're your family. They won't yell at you more than they should be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah, and Draco walk into the area where they should be going. So, when we make a portal? If you want to, I'll give you the destination. Draco said, look at him. Okay. What's well, right in my ear and I'll be there, but not in my right, so I can't hear out of it. Right to the left. Yeah, that's why I said let's whisper in my left ear. So I said not surprisingly and Dragon I whispered in his left ear. He made it in the portal to go to the location. Well let's go, Draco said, falling through the portal. So I doing the same. Once they got to the location to his side. Wonder what Hufflepuff is doing. What is Gryffindor going to do after it? So I followed Draco along. Hey, are you coming? Draco asked, looking at Toy. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about Hufflepuff. Don't worry about it. Hufflepuff can handle himself against Gryffindor. Yeah, I know, but he's supposed to be babysat by Gryffindor. Don't worry, I think we'll be fine, I promise you. Draco said, smiling. I know, it's just, what if something happens? If anything happens, Gryffindor will call you, remember? Yeah, I know, everything is just turned upside down, alright? Don't worry, everything will be fine. Draco said, walking to the building, toy doing the same, they took a seat, and the waiter came. What can I get for you? Uh, do I look to Draco? Whatever the lady is, good. Don't mind him, he's just worried about his Hufflepuff friend. And dealing with the, dealing with the problems. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It's fine. Me a trio of four, you can't get worried about your friend's spect. He should live after having Stuff in Hogwarts. Tony said, look at this side. I'll get the spaghetti if you have any. Yes, sir. Oh, never mind, I'll just take a salad. How about the spaghetti and salad just to make you happy, sir? Really? You'll do that? Tony said, looking kind of happy now. Well, let me cheer up, Draco said, smiling. Yeah, I'll go for that, Tony said, smiling. There you go, sir. I'll be to help. And for you, sir? Whatever. A sandwich and salads, please. Very well, sir. To your side. Well, I'll take a Pepsi to drink. 
All right, and I'll take a group here, please. Draco said, "So inside, wonder what they're doing, huh?" I mean, with Ravenclaw, me being Ravenclaw, hell doesn't help that I know everything. Hey, don't worry about it. Slytherin might show up, but hell, Gryffindor, maybe. Toy said, looking to the side. Maybe not. Slytherin's off on a date. I don't know how long it's going to take. Toy's phones are ringing. Hello? I need your help. Hufflepuff got onto the roof. What do you mean, Hufflepuff got onto the roof? Just come and help me. Gryffindor ended the call and just like that. I gotta go. Hufflepuff is on the roof again. Alright, let's just come back soon, okay? Draco said, no worries for Hufflepuff's safety on the roof. Sure thing. Hope you guys enjoy. For one on one.